Okay, so this is us on the main menu, and you can see here that there's eight little squares to, to click on. The top left one is probably the one where we'll spend most of our time, and that's the scanner. You've got the license where you can um, see your stats, so I'll just jump in there quickly. So I'm obviously only level one, uh, I'm aligned to fungal, you can see my rank. As we level up, um, there'll be rank battles, and um, you have to defeat them to keep being able to level up, and it'll also change um, your rank title. So at the moment I'm a scout, and maybe one day I might be a master spirit hunter. Uh, I've got 500 golders at the moment, and then you can see my, my various stats. So like my muscle, my um, reflexes, my HP, all these sorts of things. On the right hand side of the screen, you can see um, different medals, and they denote um, which battle, or like which type of spirits that I've defeated. So I've got one bronze one at the moment, because I've just defeated the normal um, woof in my training battle. But um, there's also silver and gold um, versions of each spirit, and they're much, much, much harder. Um, and then it shows you the purple one is for how many you've captured. And then you can see the total number of spirits that you've defeated, how many alignments you can purchase, because as you level up, you can um, buy the ability, uh, the, well, basically the different elements. So at the start, we obviously chose fungal, but um, at level 25, I can purchase another one, and then I can switch between, say, fungal and ice outside of battle. So it allows me, by the end of the game, I can basically have every alignment and every ability, and then switch between. Between, between them as I want. Um, you can see how many badges I've done, uh, deals taken, and if I don't like my photo, which I'm thinking is quite cool at the moment, um, I can tap there and change the photo. Okay, so the spirit list is where you can see the spirits um, that you've battled so far, so I've not seen very many. Um, I'm going to jump into another um, version later on, uh, which will show you um, a much, much higher level, so I'll show you more of the spirits, but you can basically see all the spirits in here at the moment are blacked out because I haven't encountered them. But if we get to the Canis family, which is here, you can see that Woof is coloured in, and if we tap on Woof, we can see his details. So that was the one that I, I beat in the, the training battle, obviously. So that will start to be more and more be revealed as you defeat more spirits throughout your spirit hunting career. So let's head out of there. The store um, is where you obviously go to buy new abilities, and there's an awful lot of different abilities. Um, so at the start of the game, I can only buy um, one from each element, so we're in the fire area of the shop at the moment, and you can see that Flaming Fist is available to purchase. On the bottom screen, or, sorry, on the bottom part of the bottom screen, you can see all these greyed out abilities, so things like Fireball. Uh, I can't buy that yet, uh, it's 7,500 Goulders and you see on the text scrolling up I need to be level 11 so I'm going to have to level up there before I can purchase that ability and then you've got much much higher level ones like healing flames um, so when that scrolls up we'll see what that requires 200,000 goulders oh my gosh so it requires um, I need to have bought flaming rage and I also need to be level 51 so I'm going to have to work pretty hard to get there so if we scroll through we can see um, fungal, there's no abilities available at the moment because I've obviously got the, the first ability and it needs to be level 11 to buy Dirt Bomb. And then we've got a whole bunch of other cool abilities you can tap on and, and, and read what they do. Um, there's one ability available in Ice, one ability available in Light, one in Shadow, uh, one in Water. Um, so each of these first starting abilities, they're going to cost me 3,000 Goulders and I've only got 500 at the moment. So we're going to have to wait a little bit before I can do any of that. Um, then if we keep going on, um, in the brown sections, you can see up in the top right the, the different colours. Um, this is the apples that I was given, so it shows that I've already got five apples. Um, if I tap on these, I can sell them if I want to get more money, um, or I can buy um, more if I want. And then you can see again, greyed out uh, in the lower half, not yet available, there's a whole bunch of different food. Um, so some food just heals you, but there's some interesting food, um, for example, past spicy gumbo. Um, that actually doesn't heal me at all, it just gives me uh, water resistance, so it makes me 30% more resistant to water if, if I was like that. So if I'm a fire player, that could be quite handy if I'm finding a lot of water spirits, I'd maybe buy some of Paz Spicy Gumbo, drink that or eat it, however you want to look at it, um, and then I'm, I, I'll take less damage against water spirits for 5 minutes, which is pretty cool. Um, and then finally, the final section in the store is traps. Um, none of them are available yet. I need to be level 10. Um, they're quite handy. If you find yourself running out of cash, um, what you need to do is uh, get spirit quite low in health, chuck out um, a trap, and if, you, if it captures the spirit, when you complete the battle, um, which you will do for capturing it, um, you'll get heaps more money than you would if you just defeated it normally, because you're basically sending it to Spirit Hunters Inc. and 
they are going to give you some cash for the research they're doing on it. So that's quite nice. So at level 10 and above, you can start doing that. Okay. Um, then we can go into the inventory. So inventory is where you equip abilities. I've only got one at the moment, so it's not particularly exciting. But you can see this is the fire section again. There's no abilities there at the moment. Um, we'll go through to the fungal. So there's a the fungal one. So if I wanted to add fungal spores, which is already on my ability bar, but just for the sake of argument, I can drag it down there. And then I've got two now, which is not really very useful because uh, I can only use it one at a time anyway. And then I just drag it if I don't want it. Um, so you can move things around as well. So I quite like having mine here. So I'm going to move over there. Uh, and you can see my apples have already been placed in the bar as well. So we can just go through, and this is where all the abilities will appear um, as you buy them. The apples are obviously there already, um, and this is where traps would appear. So that's going to get more full up as we level up and buy more stuff. Help launches the manual, so I'm not going to do that just now. Um, badges, these show all the different badges in the game, so if you want a hint, um, I need to collect six bronze medals, um, and then I'll get a nice badge. And um, six bronze medals basically means I didn't need to defeat six spirits, so hopefully that shouldn't take too long. I think it's six different spirits actually. Um, if we go left, I know already, I think, yeah. So because I own, there's a couple of other no titles installed on this, um, I'm going to earn 5% more builders. So if you own any of our other titles, then you'll immediately get that badge. Um, and the more titles you own, the more badges you get. But if you don't, that's fine. Um, you can actually unlock them by um, doing other things. Well, let's say you go, there you go. So if I unlock five badges, then this badge would unlock as well. So it just depends um, how you want to do it. OK, so that's badges. Um, and finally, I'm just going to quickly jump into challenges. Um, and then we'll go and hunt for a spirit. So challenges serves two purposes. Throughout the story, I mentioned before that you can rank up. So here is where you have to come and take the rank battles. They'll be unlocked. So obviously the first one's at level 10. So I can't do anything on that at the moment, which is a shame because that would be cool to be able to rank up. But I'm only level one, so we'll have to wait till level 10. Um, then what we can see, so it goes right up to 99. The empty slots is where I can tap on an empty slot and then um, it's asking me do I want to enter a challenge code, so if I go yes, um, a friend can send me a challenge code and when I type that in, I'll get a spirit to battle. So I'm not going to do that just now, but um, on the, when I go into the more um, higher level version of the game, I'll show you a bunch of um, challenges that I've entered in and we can um, maybe take part in some of those battles. So, no we don't want to do that, let's get out of here. In the next video, we're going to take a look at scanning and a level 1 battle.